a gum that claims it can remineralize your teeth. Yeah, we've officially reached the point where chewing gum thinks it's a dentist. But before you roll your eyes into orbit, let me tell you what I found digging through this rabbit hole of tree sap and nanoparticles. Underbrush gum is made by Nathan and Sons, and they're selling what they call the world's first remineralizing chewing gum. The price point? Hold on to your molars. Four packs cost around $40. That's $10 per pack. For comparison, Trident costs about a dollar. So this better be liquid gold for your teeth. The ingredient list reads like a chemistry textbook had a baby with a forest. There's chicle gum base, mastic gum, spruce gum, nanohydroxyapatite, xylitol, erythritol, calcium bentonite clay, and about seven other minerals. The company claims this combo fights bacteria, reduces plaque, and literally rebuilds your tooth enamel while you chew. Here's where it gets interesting. The nanohydroxyapatite is actually the same mineral that makes up your enamel. Multiple peer-reviewed studies show it can remineralize early dental lesions. One study even found it superior to conventional fluoride for enamel repair. Another showed it creates deeper, more homogeneous remineralization than fluoride treatments. The research is legit. Xylitol adds another layer of dental benefits. Cochrane reviews confirm it reduces cavity-causing bacteria and helps prevent dental caries. Mastic gum fights oral bacteria and reduces plaque formation. Even erythritol has studies backing its anti-cavity properties. But here's the plot twist. While hydroxyapatite works in labs, there's a massive difference between controlled clinical conditions and chewing gum in your mouth. Concentration, contact time, and delivery all matter. Most studies use much higher amounts than what you get in a piece of gum. User reviews are mixed. A many reports smoother teeth and less sensitivity. Others say the flavor dies in 15 minutes and the texture is stiff. Some swear by it. Others call it overpriced hippie gum. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration hasn't approved uh, hydroxyapatite for dental use in the U.S. yet, though it's approved elsewhere. The company cites research but avoids direct medical claims. So the verdict? It's not snake oil. The ingredients are real. If you already chew gum and want to gamble on premium oral perks, this might be worth trying. Just don't expect miracle cavity reversal from gum alone. What other premium health products should I investigate next?